Got it. Thank you. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Technology in the service yeah. of the Torah. Right. Welcome, Mr. Aaron. Welcome back. Yes. Okay. Such a nice place. Daf Vav, Ahmed Aleph. And we by, are... By right by the wide lines, Rabbi. We are before the wide lines, actually, because I mentioned last week that it's my show oh, I wanted to go right, over. Right, right, I right. said at the beginning of the show, it wasn't right. a toss, it was my show. Yeah. And we're going to start with the Tia tonight, two, four, six lines in the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Omarova. Okay, that's where we're starting from. Yes. Okay, and being you have your Gemaras here, whoever's got the Gemara, we're going to go to the back of the Gemara. This is, you know, this is the we, arts like in, have too? Like, no, oh, okay. like no. in the yeshiva, in the yeshiva, we used to call them the boys in the back, you know. This is the Marsha that we're going to be learning today, is can be found on Daf Aleph of the Marsha in the back. Where is the uh, it's after page 78? Uh, the top right says 78, on the left side it says Aleph in the back of Marsha. Look where the Marsha, oh. look where it says Marsha in the top oh, over yeah, there. Yeah. Go, go back a little more. Is the run? Yeah. Go back a little more, a little more, a little more. Oh, yeah. And now, whoa, whoa, what do I, a little more, a little more, oh, yeah. a little more, a little more. Uh, what page is this? No. Go back, go to Aleph. Go to Aleph. Yeah. Page Aleph. Aleph. There you go, Aleph. On the left column, it says Davov. Davov is over here, yeah. Yeah, you go down in Davov four lines. One, two, three, four, yes. Okay, that's where we're going to start, in the middle okay. of the line. Okay, we'll see that in a minute. Okay, let's go to the Gemara first. Okay. And we are here, six lines in the top, on Vav Amar Aleph. Okay, here we go, you got it? Amar Rava, Rava said. All right, we're having a discussion about which... What are the names of various cities? And we were speaking about specifically the city of Tveria right. over here. There was a discussion last week about Tveria, whether it's considered an Ir Mukefes Choma Mimos Yoshua Bin Nun or not. Right. The Gemara now tells us that uh, right before this, it said that the city of Hamas is Tveria. Right. Okay? Yeah. And uh, uh, and, and others said, uh, uh, no, uh, another name for Tveria is Rekes. And the Gemara said, uh, that one of the reasons uh, it's, it's, it's called Rekes is because the Midlaya Kedixa Denada, because it's like a mountain that sloped down to the sea. Okay, now Omar Rova. Rova says like this, Mi Ika Lamanda Omar Rekes love Tveria you told us originally Hamas is Tveria. Right. And then you came along and said, Rekes is Tveria. Is there anybody who holds that Rekes is not Tveria? Vaho, and I'll behold the following. Kishchiv inish hocha, when a person dies over here in Bovel, hosom there in Eretz Yisrael, safti le'ochi. They made a hesped, for the person who died in Bavel, in Eretz Yisrael, they made the following husband. Mm -hmm. Number one, Godol Hu Sheshach. This was a great man in the place known as Sheshach. And the second line down on the Rashi, on the wide lines on the top, by the sixth word, right. Sheshach, what Sheshach? Bavel. Mm -hmm. the, the, the city of Sheshach is really Bavel. Why is that? Bechil of At Bash. There's a formula of counting, uh, of mentioning the Aleph base, yeah. At, right. Bash, God, Dak, and so on. Yeah, yeah, right. You take the first letter of the Aleph yeah, base right. and the last letter, right. Aleph and Toph. Yeah. And then there's Bash, Bez, yeah. and Shin. Yeah. So Bovel is two Shins, because Bez, Shin. So that's Shin, Shin. And then the Lamed matches up with Chof, so it's oh. Sheshach. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. God all over Sheshach. He was great in the city of Sheshach, meaning in Bovel. But he had a great name in the city of Rekes. Okay? And Rekes 
is the city of Tveria, because they used to come and bury them over there in Tveria. Okay, as uh, and the work they use the Chimaski Aron of the Hosam, and when the Aron, meaning the Aron in which the person who died in Babel was coming to Eretz Yisrael, the Chimaski Aron of the Hosam, when the Aron came to Eretz Yisrael to be buried, Safdi Lehochi, they uh, they made the following hespit for him. Oave Siridim. The, 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 those who were beloved by Siridim. Siridim here is like uh, uh, B'nai Yisrael. It's referring to B'nai Yisrael, right? Because it says in the Pasuk, Am Siridei Chorev. Ka Yisrael are the Siridim. Right? Siridim, all you people who are the members of Eretz Yisrael, of Ka Yisrael, Yoshevei Rekes, those of you who live in the city of Rekes, that means when they came to Tveria, which was known as Rekes, so the Kiblu Aruge Omek, go and welcome those who were killed in the valley. What, who, what's the valley in reference to Eretz Yisrael? Bavel, 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 the valley. Why? You, you remember, you remember Pashas Noach, right? Right. So right. So, uh, so Migdal Bavel, right? Oh yeah. Right? That was after. That was after the bar. The, the, it was after the marble, yeah, yeah. but where, when the, when the marble took place, where did all the water go out? Where, what was the name of the place where the water went out? It was called the land of Shinar. Well, why is it called the land of Shinar? Says Rashi, Shenina Rushama Kol Anif Oshos, because that's where all the dead people of the marble ended up. Why is that? Because if you have a sink and the sink is slanted and you have it goes. In the middle funnel, all everything goes down because the lowest point. Bavel, the lowest point in that area. So all the all the bodies when the when the flood went down the drain. So all the, all the bodies. Shaniniru Sham call Anishama. There's another Gemara in Tainus. If you remember, where where where, where does Bavel come up in Masechta Tainus? Because beginning of Masechta Tainus talking about fasting because there's no rain. The Gemara concludes. That you never can say, don't, uh, no, you, you know, you're not supposed to daven for too much rain, right? Yeah, totally uh, too much, no good. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Now, that was for too much rain. Mm -hmm. Where specifically is that referred to in Bavel? Why? Because all the water went up there anyway. So even a little rain ended up in Bavel. There you could daven, it's enough, Shanghai, <laughs> you can't anymore. Yeah, okay. So, so that's what it's called, okay? So that's what it says. Go and, and accept or receive those who were killed Omek in the valley. Okay. Why, why are they called Haruge Omek? That's a, that's a pretty strong uh, uh, terminology, right? The Marsha makes an unbelievable statement over here. We're not going to read it here, but he says the following. He says, why are they called Haruge Omek? Al Shalom Olu Le'eret Yisrael. Uh, what's the reason that they died there? Because they didn't go to Eretz Israel. Because after Ezra went back, he could have brought back Klai Israel. And there were many who didn't want to go back. You don't want to go live in Eretz Israel when you can. Not so posh. Okay. Next, the Gemara brings up another aspect. Kinoch Nafshe, the Rebbe Zayda. When Rebbe Zayda died. Rebbe Zayda, the Gemara in the end of Exubus, brings up that Rebbe Zayda, we're on Daf Vav Amir Aleph in uh, Megillah. Kinoch Nafshe the Rabbi Zayda, when Rabbi Zayda, the Gemara Stubis at the end, Kufir Aleph, brings down that Rabbi Zayda went on Aliyah to Eretz Yisrael. And none of his, his Rebbe's weren't that too happy about it because he was the greatest Talmud Chacham around and they're, they're losing him to Eretz Yisrael. Anyway, but when he died and they buried him in Eretz Yisrael because he lived in Eretz Yisrael, Posach mm Aleya, -hmm. who Safdina, so there was this Maspid who began the the Hespid, the following way. Eretz Shinner. Remember, I mentioned before that Bavel was known as Shinner. Shaniniru Shama, Kalan and Shamas. Eretz Shinner. New land of Shinner. Bavel. Another name for Bavel. Hora Violda. The land of Shinner was pregnant with her and gave birth to her. Meaning, Rabbi Zayr's Neshama was born and raised in Bavel, right? Eretz Tzvi. Uh, what's, what's the Eretz Tzvi? Eretz Israel. 
Eretz Tzvi is called Why is Why is Eretz Yisrael called Eretz Tzvi? The Gemara Ksubis also mentions it. What's the reason? Because the skin of a deer stretches with the deer. No matter how big the deer gets, the skin remains wow. on the deer. Yes. Right. You kill the deer and you skin the deer and to try to put it back on the same size won't work. Right. It shrinks. Right. Right. So Eretz Yisrael is the same way. What do you mean? As long as Claudia Israel goes and lives in Eretz Israel, you can fit 10 million Jews in there. It's no problem. It will keep expanding. No problem. It's when there's no Jews there. What happened to Eretz Israel? 2,000 years. There were no Jews. It shrunk to next to nothing. What do you mean next to nothing? It was no, there were no habitable places. But it was impossible. Today, today it's expanding. It's I, still expanding. As you see, every time we go there, yeah, that's I'm bigger. I'm moving there. It's gonna. You'll see. It'll get even bigger. It'll get even bigger. I, I expect that by the time I come, my apartment will be twice the size it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Yeah, up to a point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then it's called Bedford Stuy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go further. Okay. So, so he says, he says, Eretz uh, Gidla But the, the land of Eretz Yisrael, the dear land, how dear you are, right, mm -hmm. uh, has raised its beloved ones, its shashuev, its toy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, cries out, Tveria, Ki of the Klechem Dosa. Because now that Rabbi Zeir is dead and he's no longer in Tveria, so lost its vessel of desire. It's clay chemda. Oh, so what do we see? I mean, nevertheless, we see that another mm -hmm. name for uh, rec, uh, for Tveria Rekes. Why do you tell me that the city of Rekes is called uh, Hamas? Ella Omar, again, Rava, not Rava, Ella Omar Rava. Hamas zu Hamegror. The, the Hamas refers to the hot springs of Gror. Rekes and zu Tveria. But Rekes is referring to Tveria. Kineres and the land of Kineret, zu Ginosar. That's another name for the place known as Ginosar. Veloma Nikra Rekes. Oh, why is Ginosar called Rekes? She'afilu reikonim shebo melei in the mitzvahs kerimon that even the empty ones, reikonim, they're empty. Even the empty ones, meaning the non tamid chachamim, even the empty ones are filled with mitzvahs like a rimon, like a pomegranate. Yeah, what, what, what's pshat? Like how many times do you have to mention this? What's the shadow that's filled with mitzvahs like a pomegranate? How many seeds are there in a pomegranate? 613 seeds. Right. You don't believe me? I had a student count them. I had a Talmud account. I spent five hours. And he ended up with 612. It doesn't mean every pomegranate has 613. It means it's like, it's, it's like that. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Now, what, why is it that Tveria, more than any other place, the truth of the matter is this statement about Malay and Mitzvah's Karimon is said about all of Klai Yisrael. Yeah. All of Klai Yisrael, Afilu Rekonim Sheba, right? This is a famous Gemara in Baruchas, you see on the right, it's put down in Baruchas, in Erev, in Chagig, and Sanhedrin, it's mentioned a couple of times in chess. And it doesn't only refer to the people of Tveria, even Jew, any Jew, every Jew is Malay and Mitzvah's Karimon. They're constantly doing nice things to help other people. You know, the Gemara, the Gemara at the end of, of, of uh, Ksubis says, you smile at somebody, it's better than giving them milk to drink as a baby. You're giving them so much love and you help another person live. You do kindness, you help a person across the street. Jews are always helping everybody. So even, I feel like it comes to my name, So it's not only the people in Tveria. So why over here does the Gemara say over here, it's Malay and Mrs. Kaviman about the people in Tveria? What, what, why just in Tveria? Oh, so we mentioned before that one of the things about Tveria Gemara in Shabbos, I believe it is, it says that, who was it, Rabbi Zeva, he said, he want, uh, I want to be amongst those who are the Kabul Shabbos in, in uh, Kabul Shabbos in, uh, what's the low, the low town? Uh, no, 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 it's just hell. He's the Kabul, uh, uh, I forget where. 
uh, forget the city. Okay. Uh, the, he, anyway, he's Makabal Shabbos in uh, in uh, a lowland, yeah. right? And he 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 ends up oh, with Shabbos okay. in the highland, uh, the highland. No, no, no. It's it's in the area over there. It's, right, whatever. So 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 so. What's the pshat? I want to be amongst those who who accept Shabbos in the lowland because the lowland. Is in the uh, actually among poskim about when does Shabbos start? The Shabbos start when the when Shkia goes away because you're in a valley and the Shkia is much earlier because if the sun sets behind the mountain so you can't see it, right? Yeah. So the question is when when is Shkia? Is it where based on where the the topography of the land you are, or is it just the general area where Shkia is at that point? And the same thing goes with the end of Shabbos. The Shabbos end. Let's say you're you're up uh, you're up in an airplane, no? Yeah. So in 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 the ground below, it's already three hours after Shabbos. But you're so high up that it looks like it's still daylight up there, even though it's not, right? So over here, in, if you're going to be in, oh, he's he's Makabel Shabbos in Tveria, and and he and he's he's finishing Shabbos in Sipori. That's what the Gemara says, right? The Makabal Shabbos in Tveria, because Tveria is very low, right. right? It's like a valley, right? So the Makabal Shabbos in Tveria, and he takes out Shabbos when he's up in Sipori. Why? Because he has a much longer, much longer Shabbos. Oh, so so that's why over here it says they were Malayan mitzvahs karima, more than other places. Why? Because they had that extra, that extra, you know, <coughs> uh, uh, hour before, an extra hour after where they kept Shabbos. Okay, that's that's what the Chidah comes along and says over here. Why it's so special? All right, let's learn the let's learn the Rashi over here. Uh, the Rashi we said Shei Shacharedi V'Shem Lo Bereket, right? Huh? The second line from the top in the Rashi. Oh, V'Shem Lo Bereket. Yotzal Lo V'Shem B'Tveria. He got a good name in Tveria. V'Chimaski Oron Shel Meis Mi Bovel. When an Oron came from somebody who died in Bovel, the Kovah B'Tveria. Third line of Rashi, they said as follows: Hasaf Donim Korim Bishvakim. All the people who make eulogies would cry out in the marketplaces. Beloshen Azet Sheyet Sheyetsu Likras Ames that went out to greet the dead person. And here's what they said: Oh, have a Sirigim. It means Oh, have a Yisrael Yoshvei Reket. You who live in Reket. So Uve Kiblu Harugayomek. Go out and. Greet those who were killed in the Omek. Who's the Omek? The valley, mm -hmm. right? Even deeper than Tveria. Mesei Bovel Ho Amuka. The very, uh, the ones who died in the depths of Bovel. Then it said, Rabbi Zeira, Olam Yibovel Eretz Yisrael, Umei Shon Betveria. Rabbi Zeira Taka, he went, like we said in the Gemara, the Gemara in Ksubis, and he went to live in Tveria. Eretz Tzvi means Eretz Yisrael. Gidla Shashuer Shashina. They raised all the beloved members of the of Bavel. Okay, back to the Gemara. Okay. Second line of the wide lines toward the end of the line of the Gemara. Rabbi Yir, uh, oh, well, oh, what, what was the whole reason why we went over this Gemara that we said last week? Uh, the Masha. So you got to take a look at the Masha over here. Beautiful, beautiful Masha. Uh, all Masha are beautiful, but here, the Masha. Understand? The, the Masha wasn't satisfied just learning the Gemara. What we had, we had three espids over here, right? Three espids. Yeah. We had one espid of a guy who lived and died in Bavel. Then you had a espid of a guy who lived in Bavel and was buried in Eretz Yisrael, right. right? Then you had a espid of Rabbi Zera who was born in Bavel but went to live in Eretz Yisrael and died in Eretz Yisrael. You have three espids. Why did Gemara have to bring three espids to prove the same point? Yeah. What do we want? So the Mashur, he says, listen, if the Gemara did this, there's a reason why we mentioned all three of these. Look at the Masha. It's unbelievable. It's on page Aleph over here in the Masha, four lines down in the middle of the line. Kishchiv inishacha. If somebody died here in Bavel, and then the Chimaski, and Maski means when they brought him to Eretz Israel, next case, and Kinoch Nafshe, the Rebbe Zayv, the third case. Says the Masha, the fourth line down. Gimel mean a Hespid, Zachar Khan. There's, there's three different types of Hespidim over here. We're now on the on the fifth line down in the Masha on the left. Al Talmud, uh, Al Talmud Chachim, 
The first one is a Talmud Chacham. He lived in Bavel. He died in Bavel. Never made it to Eretz Yisrael, even after death. Okay? There is a discussion amongst many poskim. What's the rule? Are you supposed to see to it that you get buried in Eretz Yisrael? Or is it not that you're supposed to be buried in Eretz Yisrael? Okay. So Ruba the Ruba, the... the, the Ruba the Ruba claim it's a schus to be buried in Eretz Yisrael because there's the Indian of Mechilos, meaning the, 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 the no, the, the, the Mechilos are the, the, the little uh, caves and the, through the middle of the earth where a person has to get to Eretz Yisrael. So if you're buried in Eretz Yisrael, you'll avoid when Mashiach, yeah. when Schiel Samesim yeah, comes, you'll have to roll, you, have to roll. Yeah, yeah. you go underneath the ocean, no, no, in the core of the world. Yeah. Mechilos, yeah. Gilgul Mechilos, it's called. So the, you're going to be roll, you're going to roll yourself into Eretz Yisrael. Okay, so it's a little difficult. The six thousand miles rolling over there. I don't know. You know, it's a no L L uh, submarine over there. So you know. Uh, what did they say? Something about not having the tzitzis because the non Jews are going to try to grab the tzitzis or something. No, you're not supposed to. On the cemetery in general, you put your tzitzis inside your pants. Right. You don't oh, wear tzitzis right, right, outside. Right, right. It's low egladosh. You're not supposed to make fun of people who can't do a mitzvah. All the mason, that's why they bury always. Oh, you'll see even a coffin, they wrap yeah. them up in a towel, but the tzitzes are outside. They, oh, really? they put a tzitz, you they take it off. No, they take one of the tzitzios and they put it outside the coffin. Oh, so it's not considered so it shouldn't be garbage. Oh, you wow. never noticed that. Right? No, I never now you're that. gonna start noticing. Okay, good. Yeah. They, no, they put them out, they put it outside. No, well, some maybe some take it off. I don't know, but that even you're in a cemetery. When, uh, you shouldn't have to go, it should always right. be only simchas, but reality, you go to a cemetery, you can't wear your tzitzis out. Yeah. Your tzitzis are out, you have to put them in. Lori like, you know, Yamaka like, is not a mitzvah of tzitzis. Like, that's a minute, it's a minute. It's a minute, it's a minute, it's a minute. Okay, yeah. now, anyway, back to the Masha. Back to Masha. <clears throat> he says, he says, he says that, uh, and then, Afegouf, Allah, Hamisa, Lava, Lecha, he didn't have that tzchus, softu, Allah, they said, God will be sheshach and so on, the shame lo reket. The yesh la hospit olov, shalom zoha begufa, lo olov it's Israel. He never got to God to Israel. You know, we say every morning, we should go standing up. A lot of people go lying down. Right. Yeah, we want to get there standing up. Right. Yeah, right. okay. Right. Yeah, no, they they should should so we should go to Eretz Israel standing up. Yeah. What do you mean standing up? No, no, that was get off the plane. You're standing yeah. up. Yeah. But, hey, it says that everybody has to die at least once on tomorrow. You die in Eretz Israel, no? But you no, get there alive. No, it has to die at least once before. You're talking about to make it there at least once in your life. No, you're supposed to live there, so you stand up. Oh, that's what you mean. I'm you get there standing. Right, right, right. A lot of people who get there lying down. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, they're in a coffin. But I know, right. I know. We I want to get, we want to get there standing you know, up. I, I didn't realize that in Eretz Yisrael, because when they brought my zayi there, that they bury you in the tachrichen. Yeah, yeah, they don't. They have coffins so much. Okay. All right. Next, next case. Okay. That's why it says v'shem lo bebekes lavo hasa tzkande v'shem lo bebekes now. The Aldas Tov Shem Shem and Tov because it's a, a good name is better than good oil. That's the first mashah. Next, the second case is Umisha Lo Zachalamuz Shom Be'Eretz Yisrael. But somebody who wasn't Zolcha to die in Eretz Yisrael, but Avol Zachal Acha Misa. Oh, the Maske Adon Ola Osam. Oh, but he, after the Misa, they took him and buried him there. Yeah, says the mashah. Yesh La Hospital Love. Right, Shalozacha Bechayav Lavo Lasham, the Hashta Haruge Emek Muk Mikri, he Omek Mikri, he's called the guy who died there in uh in in Babel. Okay, Keilu Enomes Bismano, he didn't die, he could have lived even longer, but Venera and Bechayze Shahoya Dor Bechutz Lavas. Oh, that's a powerful statement, unbelievable. Okay, the high listener, Ika Besov Ksuvis, like it says. 
על שנוסע אישה בחוץ לארץ, ומי שם בורך המוקם של רגל. ולבבא של רבי זל, was once asked a very interesting question, a guy, a, a guy from Eretz Israel, one of the, one of the frumer from Eretz Israel, he came over, he came to the Baba Chirebbe, you know, Baba Chirebbe gave out dollars to everybody and he shook hands with everybody, okay. So he came, he said, Rebbe, he spoke to him in perfect Hebrew, he said, Rebbe, I think, uh, I hope, Rebbe, that it would be wonderful if the Rebbe would make Aliyah and go to Eretz Yisrael, so thousands upon thousands of people would follow him, yeah, mm -hmm. and they'd bring Mashiach. You always talk about bringing Mashiach. Right. The Rebbe should make uh, Aliyah and go to Eretz Yisrael. So the Rebbe Rebbe said to him, you're 100% right, I, I really should go, but if you will bring me a tshuva from a reliable Talmud Chocham that will allow me to leave Eretz Yisrael so I can be Makarov, all the Harmon Am that live out there in Israel, mm -hmm. I would go. But once you go, you're not allowed to leave. You remember, okay. we, we had the whole discussion. Right. We had the whole discussion that if somebody is living in Eretz Israel, they're not allowed to leave to go to Chutz Arts to live in Chutz Arts unless they have certain unusual circumstances, whatever that is. But otherwise, the Rebbe said, I'm not going to lose. I can't go. I'd love to go, but I can't because if I went, I wouldn't have a permission to leave. Right. That's why I don't go. So the guy didn't like the answer, but that was the Lubavitcher Rebbe. He never mm -hmm. left New York once he became Rebbe. Okay, he said, then, he said, with Rebbe Zayda, then you have the third case, Shezokha B'chayev, Likonis Lairiz Yisrael, Ka'amar, Debikom Mokom Yesh Lahaspid, all of, that he had a Hespid. The Masha explains why we mentioned these three particular Hes. Okay, let's go back to the Gemara now. We're, we're now in the second line down, in the wide lines. Rebbe Yirmiya, Omar, Rekech Shema, uh, really the name of Tveria is Rekech, Veloma Nikra Shema Tveria, uh, if it's really Rekech, why do they call it Tveria, right? See, play, it's a play on words. It's a play on words, Rebbe Yimiya. She Yosheva is Betibudo Shel Eretz Yisrael. It's ah. sitting in the belly button of Eretz Yisrael. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's Pshat Betibudo Shel Eretz Yisrael? So the truth of the matter is that we look at Eretz Yisrael and we see Tveria, it's really up north, right? But if you take a look at the map of Eretz Yisrael, that was in the time of David Amelech, it went way beyond Lebanon, and that would mean that Tveria is more towards the middle of Eretz Yisrael because it extended so high up in the north. That's one shot. Okay, there are others that say when it's Ebeti Bura Shel Eretz Yisrael is because there was there was so many good things that that were in Tveria. At, it's called like the the belly button here means that it's got everything in it. What did we learn? We learned before that it was called uh, also Ginosar, because it had the Paris Ginosar, had these delicious, delicious fruits, right? So it had tremendous amount of good fruits. And also it had the hot springs, the Chame Tveria. You could live a, a life of Gashmias, unbelievable in Tveria. You have the best fruits in the world, right? You have the biggest lake in Eretz Israel, right? right? You can go cruising over there, right? And then you have the hot springs of Tiberias. So you would think that this is so much filled with Gashmias. And therefore, it's not such a Ruchniastika place. Not so. Because there were times when the Sanhedrin was taka in Tveria. So it's filled with Ruchnias. You shouldn't say that. Next. Rava or Rabba Omar. Reket Shema. Veloma Nikma Shema Tveria. Shetoveli Osa. Oh, you look, you saw it, it was beautiful. You like it, beautiful. It's just a beautiful place. Okay. Omar Ze'ira. Ze'ira said, Kitron Zutzipori. There's another city called Kitron, and it's known as Zipori. Veloma Nikma Shema Tzipori. Why is it called Zipori? She Yosheva is Barosh HaHoket Zipor. Oh, because the Zipori is up on a hill. It's a big high hill, Zipori, right? So it's sitting on top of a hill like a, like a bird, so it's called Zipori. Okay. We have proof that Kitra was in the Chalik of the 12 tribes, one of them being Zvulun, of course. It was in the tribe of Zvulun. He calls the Pesukim Shoftim, where the, the, the Pesukim and Shoftim over there uh, at the beginning tell us about if the Yeshua told all the Shvatim that they should go conquer the land, there were certain Shoftim. Uh, Shvatim that did not go throw out the Goyim from their land. And it says there, Zulun Lahodesh as Yoshe Kitron, Ves Yoshe Naalo. They didn't throw out the people from these 
places, right? Yeah. And it was a big mistake. They were Kananim, and uh, they didn't have the right to live there because the Pasuk says, well, Sakai can call Nishama, and they didn't have a right to live there. Uzvulin Misraim Amidos of Hali. And he used to complain about what he ended up with, Shanamar, because it says over there also in Shoftim, Zvulin Amcherev Nasholomus. Zvulin was angry to the point of death. He was always upset. Right? Matam, why was he so upset? Mishum the Naftoli Amarom Toda. Because the next Pasik says, it isn't Shiva's Devora, because the next Pasik says that Naftali was living. Amarome Sada in the high places, and he didn't have those high places. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, you know, you know, uh, you know who the Nitziv was. What was his? What was his name? The Nitziv. Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin. Right, oh, right. The, the, the Nitziv. Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Nitziv. What was what was one of the famous forum that he wrote? Yeah. Yeah. The, that's that's the Chumash on Gemara. The Merome Sada. Oh, yeah, it's called the Menorah Yeah. Based what? On, based, what? On the, based on this person. Yeah. Based on this person, right? Mishum the Naftali on Menorah Meisada. It's came. His name is Naftali. So you didn't live. He mentions that the uh, value that on top of a hill. It seems to me when I I <coughs> rode in the bus from the ferry to the bus. And you rode out, you go all the way, all the time up, up here. Yeah, you're always going up. Yeah, yeah. Svast was on the top of the hill. Yeah, so how would that happen? No, no, there, there was going down to the sea. We said it's very fast, slope, going down to the sea. It doesn't mean it was up on the hill. No, it doesn't mean that. Okay. So it says, and I've told you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, and then Zvulun said to Hashem, the Banish Lelam, La Achai, no Sato Lehem, Soda Sukronim. To my brothers, you gave them fields and vineyards. But me, you gave me mountains and peaks. To them, you gave them lands. But me, you gave me seas and, and rivers. I, I can't grow as much in the seas and the rivers as they grow in the fields. Oh, my Lord. So Hashem said to Zvulun, don't be upset. Everyone's going to need you because of the dye, the tchelis that comes from the chilazon, right? They called it the nation of mountains, but what was hidden inside the sand is what was important. Tani Rav Yosef, Safune Zer, chilazon, that refers to the chilazon, semune zu taris. That refers to the taris. Rashi, we'll see in a minute what he translates taris. Chol zu zechuches levana. But the chol refers to the white glass that can be made from the sand in the area of Zulun. Take a look at the Rashi here. Rashi says, all right, uh, it's, it's, it's about 10 lines down in the narrow lines. Yeah. Yeah, in the Rashi, all the way up. All your brothers are going to need what you have in your property. The Chilazon goes up from the sea all the way up to the mountains. And the blood of this Chilazon is the one of the ingredient, main ingredients from which they make the Chilaz. And the Chilaz v'nim karbedomim yikarim. The tchelis is sold for a very expensive price. It's a very high price. Mm -hmm. right, the question of tchelis today, whether or not we have tchelis, there are some who claim that they have found the original tchelis based on what uh, very is this and that. Uh, I've asked Rabbi David, and Rabbi David Feinstein said, his father also yeah. said the same thing, it's been lost forever. It said it was lost. It was lost forever. forever yeah. Yeah, it was lost forever. He would not. He said, no, I don't care what they say, whatever the values, uh, I don't the buy Regina, it. The Regina. Then, uh, no, the Regina was, was, was definitely not the Tchelis. That's the funny thing. What? Because that was... It Rabbi, was why, who's the Regina? The Regina, Rabbi. Oh, he, yeah, such an opinion. Okay. Amem uh Hayekro, -huh. Mikol HaShvatim Yiskapsu Lehodecha, because... All the shvatim when it come to your mountains, 
Likno Svune Timune Chol, right? And the Gemara said, Svune Zechi Lozon, Shehu Dovar Choshev, Sofun means Choshev Beloshen Beraisa, okay? Right? Like also Tsofun related phonetically, right? The best for the last. Tsofun is the Afik Kaiman. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Torres, then he, the Gemara said that the Tamune Zut Torres. Rashi says, what's the Torres? Watch this, watch this. Torres, like, the, look, 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 look. Yeah. Dog, dog, it's a fish. Shekoran Tunina. Tuna. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Tuna fish, yeah. <laughs> dog Shekoran Tunina. It's a fish. They call it tuna fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they didn't talk to the fish. Well, yeah, because, because yeah, yeah, because there are some that say it was really a sardine. Okay. Zechuchis, Levana, white sand, Hayotzim and Achol, Kid Arbi, it's Yitzhak Shabbos, Kotzing around Shabbos, the Chol shell Zvulun, Choshem, Shar Cholos. The sand of Zvulun was better than all the other sands. The Rol is Chuchos Levana, and it was fit to make white glass. Very expensive, fancy, schmancy white. Yes, maybe it means crystal. I don't know. Maybe it means that. Okay. Um, I will we'll have to stop over here because it's late already. Uh, okay, we'll so where are we up now? Oh, my Lefana. Who is happy? Oh, my Oh, yeah. Zvulin's talking further. Okay. We'll stop over here. Mirz Hashem, next Tuesday, we will continue from here. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's next Tuesday. Thank, Thank you, Rabbi. Something. Have a good night. Something. I don't know. It's the morning. It's the morning. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night.